Lord, give me your strongest medication. Oh shit, so I did tear. The placenta came out, I was getting sewn up. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As you guys can tell by the title, today I'm gonna be giving you guys all the tea on giving birth. Now, I don't know about you guys, but ever since I was younger, I knew I wanted to be a mom, but I've always been terrified of giving birth. I literally found a tweet the other day, and I'll put it on the screen right here, but I've always just been so scared of giving birth. Just anything that has to do with down there has always just terrified me, going to the gynecologist, getting pap smears, just anything like that has always just given me the heebie-jeebies. And I know for a lot of women, that's a big fear for them as well, so I definitely knew I wanted to make this video, and this was how requested ever since I posted my labor and delivery video which you guys haven't seen that I'll post a link to it down below and if you're new here and this is the first video you've seen from me I gave birth to my beautiful baby boy on March 13th so about three weeks ago it's so crazy time is literally flying by I can't believe he's almost a month old like I don't even want to think about it cuz I'm gonna cry gonna cry I'm a little bit past three weeks I'm like 23 days postpartum so I went on to Instagram and told you guys to ask me some questions about giving birth and the experience and you guys sent me a lot of juicy questions so let's get right into it how painful was it on a scale of 1 to 10 with the epidural honestly the contractions you guys are so painful that you don't even think about how painful the epidural is going to be like you're just like lord give me your strongest medication like give me whatever you can to make this pain stop so it didn't even occur to me how much it was gonna hurt for the epidural i was like just give me the epidural like i don't care like i need the epidural and honestly it did not really hurt i think i was so distracted by the contraction pain that the epidural really didn't um hurt me it literally just feels like a little bee sting that's what the anesthesiologist says to you anyway they're like you're gonna feel a little sting something about the epidural that i did not know that surprised me is the needle stays in your back i always thought the epidural whenever i just thought about it was just one big shot at least at the hospital that i went to i don't know if it's different at other hospitals but they just insert the needle into your spine and you're connected to this like iv thing and that's the epidural and the medicine just keeps on pumping into you and the um epidural has like a little remote with a button that they give you and you can just press the button whenever you feel like you need more pain medication which is crazy i did not know that i always thought it was just one big shot and then it was over but no you're hooked onto this machine Question, did you rip a little or not at all so i actually did tear um I was shocked when they told me that I tore because I didn't feel any pain. I always thought I was going to feel it regardless of getting the epidural or not. Um, but I did tear. I got a second degree tear and I also tore on my labia. My doctor didn't even tell me I tore until I saw her like two days later and she's like, yeah, you did tear. You got a second degree tear because I just don't think they want to scare you in the moment. But it wasn't until like the baby was on me and, you know, I was like all happy. I was crying, all that stuff. And I looked down and I see my doctor like sewing and I was like, oh shit. So I did tear. Oh my God. Like I didn't even feel it. So yeah, I got a second degree tear, but my doctor said that she's calling it a second degree tear because of the size. Because if you want to like Google it, if you look at a second degree tear, it looks a lot more intense than what I had. Um, she said I had the size of a second degree tear, but the depth of the tear, like looking at it from this way, was like a first degree tear, if that makes sense. So yeah, and I also tore my labia, so my clit tore. Next question, does it hurt to pee after giving birth? Now this was something I was so scared of, you guys. I was literally telling the nurse, I was like, I can't pee, like I can't do this. And she's like, yes you can, I'll be fine. I'm like, no, I can't pee, like I literally can't. So when they moved me to postpartum, like after I gave birth, the first pee that you do, the nurse is in there with you. So I remember just telling her, like I really can't do it, like I'm so scared. She's like, I promise you it's not gonna be bad. And I was like, I don't want it to burn, I don't want it to hurt. And finally, it's like you can't hold it any longer. Finally, I peed and it really didn't hurt. I was genuinely shocked that it was not as painful as I expected. And again, this is coming from a girl who got second degree tears. Like I did tear up pretty bad and I didn't think peeing hurt that bad. And I don't know if this is for every hospital, but at my hospital at least, they had a chart on the board and you had to pee three times before they would discharge you from the hospital. So the like nurses had like a little tally and there was like a little bowl in the toilet. So the first pee that I did, the nurse was in there with me and she showed me how to use the peri bottle and how to clean myself up, all that stuff. And then the two other pees that they had to track, I had to call the nurse in to look at the pee in the bowl to make sure that I peed 
which is kind of invasive. What is delivering the placenta like? I feel like no one mentions that. I'm due June 30th. Well, congratulations, first of all. Literally, I'm so excited for you. And delivering the placenta, this was actually a huge question for me too because I feel like no one ever talks about it. Like, you're so right. And you don't even feel delivering the placenta. You really don't. And I always thought, I was like, do they make you push it out just like you push out the baby? But no, after I pushed out the baby and the baby was on my chest and I was like too distracted and too like in bliss to even realize what was going on, it's like... The placenta came out, I was getting sewn up, like everything was just happening so fast, but you don't feel it coming out. I don't know if they pull it out, I don't know if it comes out with the baby, I really can't tell you, but you don't even notice it, so it's not really a big deal. Next question, is your cooch back to normal yet? Yo, this is actually insane. And after this experience, you guys, like I'm hoping, I'm hoping my experience, because it was so positive, makes a lot of you guys watching this video a lot more confident and comfortable with childbirth because again, I was someone who was terrified to give birth. I was terrified of the aftermath and it really was not that bad. So obviously after giving birth, that was like the most pain I was in. Like once the epidural wore off, I didn't even feel like pain, like I wanted to cry type of pain. It just felt like a lot of pressure down there. You know what I mean? And I didn't look at myself. I did not look at my at all because I didn't want to see what it looked like. When I took a shower at the um, hospital, you know, I was washing myself up and I felt down there. It just felt so swollen. I was like, yo, I'm not looking at it. Like, I am not looking at it because I feel like if I look at it and it looks crazy, I'm going to be in more pain, if that makes sense. So finally, I remember specifically 10 days postpartum, I finally looked. I finally built up the confidence and I looked in the mirror and it literally looked normal. I was in shock. Even Mel looked and he's like, oh my gosh, it literally looks the same. We were both in shock. Definitely trust your body, you guys. Your was made to do this. That is something that I really discovered. And it's like, I look at my body in such a different way now. Like women, our bodies are literally magic. And the fact that I pushed out this almost nine pound baby and then my looked the same, 10 days later still boggles my mind. And I think the fact that I finally looked at it and it looked normal, I suddenly was in a lot less pain, if that makes sense. It's like, I just kept on picturing every time I would like sit down on the toilet and stuff, I just pictured down there being so crazy that it would put me in more pain. So when I finally looked at it and saw it looked normal, I just felt more comfortable. Like I was able to sit more comfortably. I was able to use the bathroom more comfortably. It really is like a mental um, thing. Like it really is a mind over matter thing. Also, this might be a little TMI, but again, this video is called the T on childbirth. So part of me is kind of glad my labia tore. I can't believe I was saying this on camera because the way my doctor sewed me up, like she made me look good, okay? Like when I looked in the mirror, I was like, why does this look better than how it did before? I was genuinely confused, but I really feel like my doctor like sewed me up like nice and right. And I can't thank her enough for that. I really feel like she helped a girl out. I don't know if she intentionally did that. How does your body feel now that you're not carrying a baby inside? Do you feel normal? So if you would have asked me this like two weeks ago, I would have been like miserable because I'm like, I miss having a bump so bad. I really do. Like I look back at my old pregnancy videos and pictures and I genuinely miss my bumps so bad. Like I literally can't wait to be pregnant again. Now I feel a lot normal. Now that I'm at three weeks postpartum and I'm like, I've been waist training and stuff, definitely feels a lot no more normal. But right when I got home from the hospital, I still had a tiny bump, not really, um, but it was just so weird. It was so weird that I could lay on my stomach again. It was so weird that I could easily bend over. I could shave my legs more easy. It was just really weird, but um, my belly went down really quick. Like I'm gonna post a picture on the screen here. This was a few hours after I gave birth and my stomach was just like completely flat. I know all women are different, but for me, my body personally, it's like my stomach just went right back to being flat. It, it's not tight though. It's not tight flat. It's like a jiggly, schlubby flap and you know, I'm still getting used to it. I'm gonna do a whole video on my postpartum body so you guys will see it there. But you know, I'm getting used to the feeling. But yeah, I do miss having Kayvon all to myself. Now I have to share them, unfortunately. But yeah, I do feel normal now. Do you think you could have gone without an epidural? Oh, hell no! What surprised you most about giving birth? So I feel like I kind of answered that throughout this whole video, but just the whole experience just surprised me. It's really not as scary as you think. It's really not as intense. I mean, I'm speaking from someone who got an epidural, so if you did a natural birth, just everything I'm saying, just throw it out the window. But for me, just my birthing experience, it was just a lot more calm, a lot more relaxed. 
a lot less painful than I thought. Did you poop yourself? That's my biggest fear and congratulations. Thank you, but no, I did not poop myself, but I did throw up. If you guys saw my labor and delivery video, then you guys saw I did throw up while I was giving birth. So I didn't get let off that easy. And I'm somebody who hates, with a capital H, hates throwing up. Like during my first trimester, I was so nauseous all the time. And mom would be like, just go throw up, you'll feel a lot better. And I was like, no, like I cannot throw up. Ew, it's like disgusting. So when I finally did it, it did make me feel a lot better. But in the moment I was like, Ugh. I can't. Did your water break naturally or were you induced? So if you guys kept up with me on my social medias, I was supposed to get induced right at 39 weeks, which was March 9th. And that was because I had a quote unquote big baby. And when I mentioned that on my YouTube channel, a lot of you guys left me comments saying that your doctor has told you the same thing and that you regretted getting induced and your baby didn't end up being as much as they thought he was gonna weigh. And after reading all those comments and I spoke to another midwife, and I decided that getting induced was not the right decision for me. I just really trusted my body. I was not induced and actually my water did not break before I went into labor. So actually a really small percentage of women, their water actually breaks before they um, start contracting. And I was not one of them. I think the percentage is about 10% of women or 15% of women. And you know, my mom was telling me that for my brother and my sister, her water didn't break and she went into labor. So I wasn't really expecting, just with me, she her water broke. So I wasn't really expecting for my water to break and it didn't. Um, you know, I kind of wanted like one of those movie scenes where you know, my water broke and water was going everywhere and everybody was like, ah, like let's go to the hospital. That didn't happen for me. They actually broke my water um, in the hospital when I was about seven, eight centimeters. So, and it doesn't hurt. I was always scared of that when people would say they broke my water in the hospital. I was like, oh, it was gonna hurt so bad. It literally did not hurt. I didn't feel anything. And it was like a few seconds. Like the nurse just like stuck her finger in there and then boom, my water broke, so. Do you feel this has made your relationship stronger with Mel? A hundred percent. Just giving birth in front of him, I feel like it took our relationship to a whole nother level. And then just seeing him just be such an amazing father. Like I'm not just saying that for the camera. Like Mel genuinely, is such an amazing dad. I definitely couldn't do this without having such a hands-on um, partner like him. And just seeing him being such a good father just makes me fall in love with him more and more. And it's just crazy. Like seeing him be a daddy, like it's just the cutest thing ever. And just to see him and our baby together, like it just makes me so happy. So it definitely, definitely made our relationship a lot stronger. And just every time I look at Kayvon, I'm like, damn, like this is really half me and half him. Like I always call him our love baby, which might be a little cringe to some of you guys, but he is our little love baby. Did your cat emoji <laughs> still hurt after you gave birth? Yes, it did. I would say until a little bit before the two week mark, I had pain down there and it wasn't even like, pain pain but it was just like a lot of pressure definitely the first like few days home from the hospital is the hardest hands down it's like not only are you adjusting to having a newborn and having to wake up every like three hours to feed him and take care of him and you know change his diaper like you're just adjusting to all that and you're recovering from childbirth so luckily mel was just such a sweetheart like he just really let me sleep and he would wake up every single time to take care of Kayvon. but i was breastfeeding so i had to wake up regardless to breastfeed and speaking of breastfeeding the first few days you start breastfeeding hurts so bad and any woman who breastfeeds can tell you that the first few days hurt like no other especially because your milk hasn't fully come in yet and the baby is just latching down and sucking so hard my nipples literally this nipple had like a scab on it like that's how bad it hurt but I'm like getting off topic but yeah I did have pain up until I would say like 10 days was like I was good everything was good I could sit on hard surfaces again my doctor told me not to sit like crisscross applesauce told me not to like sit with like my foot under my leg you know what i'm talking about like just to sit straight which was pretty uncomfortable because i'm someone who naturally just likes to sit like crisscross um but yeah i definitely felt some pressure i couldn't sit on certain surfaces like our bar stools were way too hard for me to sit on it hurt too bad my makeup chair a nurse in my childbirth class actually told me that the vagina is equivalent to the lips in terms of how it heals. So think about if you ever like picked your lips or your lips started bleeding, how fast your lips have healed. That's pretty much how it is with the vagina as well. So was it as bad as the horror stories you hear and was it worse than you expected? So I kind of answered that earlier. It was a lot better than I expected. Um, but yeah, people just love to scare you with their horror stories. It's actually something I tweeted about. It's like when people see a pregnant woman, they like to tell them the scariest story ever. Like I would get some comments and I'm like, yo, I know you wanted to like share with me the story about your friend or your cousin or whatever, but some of them just make you 
so scared and I hate that you know like try to refrain from when you see a pregnant woman to tell them the scariest story about pregnancy and birth I know you just want to like prepare people for the worst like you're already anxious to give birth and bring a new baby home and all that stuff and you're so anxious about this change in your life you don't need these terrifying one in a million stories to make you even more scared so yeah it's not as bad as I expected does your belly feel empty after having a baby? I read that like in screaming. I read this like, does your belly feel empty after having a baby? Because it's in all gaps. But yes, it does. Right after, it's like Mel and I were shocked at, again how flat my belly went. And especially right after birth, it's like your belly is so like schlubby. Literally, you can like grab it and like move around the skin. Like it's just everything is like loosey goosey and like going everywhere. So yeah, you do feel empty. You do. And you're just like, I miss my bump. Later, right away, I was like, I miss my bump. I want my bump back. <laughs> like it was like an accessory to me, you know what I mean? What kind of waist trainer do you recommend after birth? So I'm gonna do a whole video on my postpartum care, some of my favorite products, some things I really recommend to you guys. But if you guys saw in my what's in my hospital bag video, I showed this um, after birth band that I got from Target. So that is the one I wore in the hospital. So that one is not as intense as like a full on Faha or like a whole like corset waist trainer. It's a lot softer, but it definitely does still keep you in, which I'm really glad I packed that and not a full Faha because you're just like still so uncomfortable from giving birth. It's like you have the biggest pad on and you have like ice packs down there and all that stuff. The last thing you want to deal with is squeezing into this tight, um, body compression suit so I really recommend that one but then I, I switched to other ones right when I got home this one is a good one is it true it hurts to poop after you give birth so that is something I was so scared of just like I mentioned before I was so scared to use the bathroom after giving birth like when I would talk about my experience and when people ask me are you scared to give birth I'm like I'm not scared to give birth I'm scared for after giving birth so I actually did not poop again this is like TMI as hell but I didn't go until, so I was, I gave birth, was in the hospital that full day, because I gave birth really early in the morning, so I was in the hospital that full day, then we had to stay another 24 hours, and then I went home for two days, and I still haven't used the bathroom, and I knew at that point, I was like, yo, like, I need to force myself to go, because the more I hold off on it, it's just gonna be more painful, if you know what I mean. Um, they give you stool softeners in the hospital, which I highly recommend you continue, like go buy some co -lace, go buy some more stool softeners, and continue to take them when you get home from the hospital. I actually continued to take my stool softeners. Um, I started again last week, and I'm good now, like I'm regular now, but I still was not using the bathroom, and I was freaking out, I'm like, I need to go, like I'm four days out, like I need to use the bathroom, or this is just gonna get so bad. So I actually took some milk and magnesia. So I was telling her, I was like, I'm too scared to use the bathroom. And she's like, don't be scared. I'm like, well, I'm scared. Like, I, I'm too scared to do it. Again, it's a mental thing. And when you have a mental block, it blocks you down there too. So I finally took some milk and magnesia and that worked within hours. It made me use the bathroom. And I was like so relieved after I did it. So definitely take your stool softeners, take your milk and magnesia. Again, it's not as bad. Again, I thought it was gonna hurt so much worse. It was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna hurt. Did your body feel weaker or better after throwing up? I usually feel a little of both. So I actually was pretty nauseous before I started pushing and that definitely made me feel really dizzy and it was hard for me to do like the whole, you know, hold your breath and then push three times because I had this nauseous feeling. So finally I was like, yo, my nausea is just getting so bad. I think it was from holding my breath and then pushing, um, taking the deep breaths. It was like really hurting my head. So finally after I threw up, I felt so much better, so, so much better. I did not feel weaker. And actually my doctor told me she thinks that's why I got him out so quick. Cause before I started pushing, she's like, you know, this is your first baby. We might be here for like an hour, hour and a half. I pushed him on 30 minutes and she really was like, I think you throwing up definitely just made you cause a lot of pressure in your stomach and pushing everything out. So yeah, I'm actually happy I threw up because it just made everything go a lot quicker <laughs> tell us straight up do you bleed for six weeks after having a baby so again i'm not six weeks i'm only three weeks postpartum but again people love to tell you their horror stories so i thought i was going to be gushing blood for like a million days um actually my what's in my hospital bag i'm going to be doing a video where i um talk about all the things i actually use in my hospital bag but if you guys haven't seen that video i'll link it down below but this is just what i packed for the hospital i packed some regular like always pads and then I also brought some of those like little diapers and I got so many comments like, girl, those pads aren't gonna do anything for you. You need to take home the hospital pads. You're gonna be bleeding like crazy. Like you need thicker pads than that. And I'm so glad I didn't listen to people and really just brought options for myself because by the, by the third day, I was good to just use a regular pad. So I wasn't bleeding too bad. Just 
the first two days I used the hospital, the big bulky hospital pad and the mesh underwear just um, for my duration in the hospital. But once I got home, I did not use those at all. I absolutely hated them. They were uncomfortable. Again, I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like the mesh underwear. They weren't secure enough. Like I like to feel really like tight and collected after giving birth. So I just wore regular cotton panties and I wore a pad. Hi girl, have you felt the baby blues? So I definitely did for the first day when we came home from the hospital, you guys. I was crying up a storm. Everything made me cry. I was so emotional. I was so upset. I was so sad. I don't even know what I was sad about. But if you look up the symptoms of baby blues, I'll put it on the screen. I was literally that to a T. Everything made me cry. I was so irritable. Um, I remember, again, Mal was just like really my rock during this time because I just felt so guilty because I'm like, I just brought this baby home. You know, like I should be happy, but I was just so, so upset. I don't know why. Um, even just looking in the mirror and just seeing I didn't have a belly anymore made me like I'm getting emotional just talking about it. But I was just like so sad when I got home. And if you guys saw in our video where we introduced the baby, I could not stop crying in that video either. So I was just crying up a storm, but I'm definitely a lot, lot better now. Like I haven't cried like that for no reason in a really long time. What happened after you gave birth? Were you able to hold him for a long time? So yes, I actually was able to hold him for a very long time. So, you know, I gave birth, they put the baby on my chest, you know, Mal cut the umbilical cord. Again, it was all such a blur, um, but they let me hold him the whole time when I delivered the placenta, when they were sewing me up. Just all that they he was in my arms the whole time. So he literally was in my arms, I would say, for like two hours after I gave birth. And they didn't take him out of my arms until it was time to go to um what's it called? The postpartum unit. And even then they just put him in his little bassinet and they rolled him along with me. And he was not taken from me at all except to do his screening. So he was in the room with us. They didn't put him in a nursery or anything, which is really great. I'm really happy they didn't do that. Um, but yeah. You hold them for a really long time. So those are all the questions and that's it for this little girl talk, chit chat, all the tea on childbirth. So hopefully this video made a lot of you guys feel a lot better. I don't know, maybe this video scared you more, but I'm hoping this video made you feel more comfortable and confident with giving birth. Again, don't forget your body was built to do this. So definitely trust your body, trust yourself and trust your baby. I promise you it's all gonna be worth it and definitely go in with a positive attitude, positive mindset, again, millions of women give birth every single day so you're not alone and it easily was one of the best days of my life i wish i could relive it over and over again so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again for our next video bye guys